knocking over the trash can. Hi, hi guys. So, oh my gosh, I never come on this late, but I decided to come on because I have a little project that I'd like to get finished um, here and get my table cleaned up. And so I, um, I just, yeah, I just don't want to leave it light here and I'm going to be gone. And so we're going to do it. So I hope you guys can uh, jump on or catch the replay. Make sure you say hello and tell me where you're from. Um, I think we have some new people here, so it'll be nice to see where everyone's coming in from. Um, but I, um, I had a client, I, so I paint houses uh, with a, a few girls. Um, hi, Tammy. And we um, paint like it, it, all around our area. And it's kind of like my job, <laughs> my real job. <laughs> this is just like my fun job. And um, we, uh, hi, Clara. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, Barb. Hi. So we, um, we get to be in a lot of homes and um, help people with their decorating and their painting ideas and all of that. And hi, Sarah and, and uh, Judy. I don't have my glasses on. Ah! <laughs> That's what we have a hard time. Hi, Sheila. Hi, oh, you guys. Oh my gosh, you're coming in like flies. <laughs> so anyway, I was at a client's house earlier. Uh, well, it was Monday. And she, um, we, I didn't paint, but we were doing some decorating. She sent me a picture of a table. She didn't like it. I think I told you that today when I was doing the shelf. Um, but she gave me this frame and asked me to decorate it for her. So it's a chunky old, um, really old frame. I put a hanger on the back of it for her, but it's a, it's a junky or junky. It's a, did I say junky? It's not junky. I love it. I'd like to have like 20 more. It's an old, old frame, but it's a beauty. Look how it's super deep. It's super pretty. Um, usually she's given me frames before and I've painted. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. Oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, Pam. Hey, I'm headed to California tomorrow. I'm in Ohio. Uh, but anyway, so I normally she'll give me an old frame and I'll, I'll paint it. I've done a couple of them for her, but I didn't want to paint this one. I thought it was pretty just like it was. So um, I was a guest. Oh gosh, what was her name? Um, it was It's Lolly Doodle Studio, Kimberly. Um, hmm. And her group was called Embered. Embered Wing. Embered something wing. Ah, oh, shoot. I can't remember. She asked me to do a guest spot in there. So, hi, June. Um, ah, I have glasses right here. Why am I struggling? <laughs> um, yes, it is pretty. I know. I know, Clara. Hi, Vicki. You always hit the net when I'm live. Well, that's awesome, June. I'm not live. I'm not live. I'm, not, I'm alive, but not live very often. Uh... Yes, yes, I will say hi to Abby for sure. Uh, I'm going to Los Angeles. Um, she, well, she just moved from Marina Del Rey to, I want to say Venice. She kind of moved down a little bit, but she's on the beach and loving it. So, um, no, it wasn't Weathered Wings. No, it wasn't Joni. Um, it is Embered. Is it Embered? Oh, let's see, it wasn't Weathered. It's Embered. Oh, well, it's Lolly, it's Lolly Doodle. Is it Lolly Doodle? Oh my gosh, forget it. Anyway, I helped a friend, an online friend in her group. Oh my gosh, it doesn't matter. I bless her heart. I can't, I can't think. Yes, hi, honey, there's Abby. Oh my gosh. Hi, honey. Are you um all excited? Ember Wing. Hi, Kimberly. There she is. I thought there was another word in between the Ember and the Wing. There's Kimberly. And there's my daughter, Abby. Um, yeah, Venice, that's what I thought. Let me see if I can bring you up. Will it let me? Sometimes it, nope, it's not letting me. Well, daggone it, daggone it. Well, we're gonna do a little um, living, I'm sure, at least once, um, so you guys can meet her. Anyway, so yes, Ember Wing is her, Kimberly's group, and it, she does like the beautiful handwriting that I can't do. So in honor of her handwriting, I added one of my pretty little, um, one of my pretty little optical lenses, and I turned it around because on the back side I've been adding the writing, and the writing was in the blue, and Rhonda's house is in blue, so I thought I would, you know, oh, I'm going to have internet trouble.
trouble now. Daggone it. Well, I'm going to keep going. If you guys want to deal with it, uh, every few minutes, I'm going to cut out for about five seconds. And that just stinks. But if you come back and catch the replay, it'll just kind of skip a little bit. So we'll keep going. Anyway, so I showed Rhonda the picture and I gave her the idea. Oh, yes, you guys should definitely check out her group. If you want to learn how to do pretty handwriting. Um, so the other idea for her group was that they could take like an old sheet music like this and write, you know, do their pretty writing and do, um, um, you know, like a Bible verse or a, or a wel the word welcome or a big initial for their name. Thanks. Thanks, Dee Dee. Uh, so anyway, that was kind of my idea. And then it, as chunky as this is, I literally could even add add a bird in here. <laughs> I really, you, you totally could. So just to give you guys an idea, if you have an old frame, I wanted to show this to you. Uh, I'm not going to tuck, I'm not going to um, hook this to the back. Oh, um, <laughs> well, hello, Lauren. Um, I'm not going to um, attach it to what I'm at her house because I don't want to mess it up. But um, anyway, that was a bright idea, and I love the idea that I got a little bit of pretty writing or, or ideas for the pretty writers in Kimberly's group. So, in the meantime, doing that particular frame um, made, made me, um, yeah, it's not skipping again. It was just a one-time bump in the road, I guess. Uh, well, we'll see how this goes. So, I found this frame while antique shopping. Where, it's got a problem. Oh, here it is. I couldn't find it right there. It's got a little problem. And, but besides that, it's stinking perfect. And again, it's an old one. It's a good one. And so I'm going to decorate this for my wall. I want to hang it where? Right over there. I can't, my finger's not long enough. Where are you? I don't even, up there, right there. Okay, because it kind of goes with my frames that I have here that I kind of did the same thing, but I'm not going to go that crazy with this one. Oh yeah, there's another one. Oh, where's my hand? Right there. <laughs> I have another one there. So, um, you can tell I like frames, right? How ridiculous. But I, uh, I was going to say I promise I don't have any anywhere else, but I probably shouldn't. I probably better not promise that. <laughs> I, I think maybe I might. <laughs> I better not promise. So, here we go. Uh... You don't mind? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna cover it up. You'll never even know it was there. I'm going to um, make it be vertical, and I think the way I have to tuck it up there against my strainer, that corn sifter or whatever. Um, I have to put it up against that. So I'm gonna try and hold the. Um, hi, Lori. Hi. Uh, hi. Oh, so many of you girls from my group. Hi, you guys. Yes, we just, oh, let me show you what we just finished in my group. So I am in Kathy, um, Kathy D. Domenico's group. It's her personal private group, and it is called, um, it's not, it's Royal Funky Junk is, what is wrong with me in groups? <laughs> Royal Funky Junk is her main page, but she has a group, um, oh, she's the Sparkle Chicks and, uh, uh, <laughs> help me, I know you're all in there. Royal Sparkle Chicks, is that it? Royal Sparkle Chicks? <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's on the memory on my phone. I just tap it. So I don't even, I never type it in. Um, Royal Sparkle Chicks, I think that's it. Well, anyway, Kathy in that group taught us how to make these bottles. I just finished mine up and I sent her pictures of them to show her how mine came out. And so we've been kind of chatting back and forth. And I told her, yes, Royal Sparkle Chicks. That's it. I knew it. I knew it. So um, you guys should ask to join because her group is open right now. And she would love to show you how to make these. Um, but I used um, some texture here. And I added um, a vintage drawer pull. I added an old um, USS. It's It says USS. And then it says... MS-17, I believe where my glasses go. Yeah, USS MS-17 tag. And I had two of them, so I put the same one on each bottle. And then this is an old Singer sewing machine tag. And then a really cool chunky brass key. And then the top um, that she tells you where you can get those. So I used those um, for both of them. And then they're on, actually they're on like whiskey or tequila bottles. I don't know. 
but anyway, then I put a piece of hardware there, another tag on this one, and this is an old pin uh, that looks like a frame. It kind of looked like a buckle. I thought it was a buckle. See the the pin there, but it's not a buckle. It's actually a pin. So I would say it was probably a framed pin. Um, but anyway, Kathy will show you how to make these. She'll show you how to, you know, get your tops in there and all of that. Um, oh yes, and then this was a button cover. It's actually got like a like a hole. It's kind of thick, and then it's got a hole in the back that you could fit your button in and slide it down, and it makes you know a, a ugly button pretty. <laughs> so anyway, I thought they sat really well together. Am I yelling? I feel like I'm yelling. <laughs> but anyway, I thought they sat really well together. And um, I was thrilled that Kathy taught us how to make these. And so that was kind of my little shabby chic spin, I guess, on it. Um, hers are a little more uh, formal and blingy and sparkly and all of that. But I love I love that you can do them so many different ways. So if you don't join for any other reason, join to learn how to make those bottles. <laughs> okay. So next we're going to um, do this frame. So, okay, I showed you Rhonda's frame. I showed you Kathy's bottles. Oh, hey, I have another little tip for you. This is this is way off subject, but I always tell my friends when I come up with something really good, and I have to tell you, and this is not a commercial, it's gonna sound like a commercial. It's not a commercial, it's not a commercial. But I picked up Barkeeper's Friend. I follow a guy on Instagram. He's on Facebook too. Um, it's called Wise Guide. He, it's called W-I-S-E, and then it's G-U-I-D-E. I love him. I don't even know what his name is, but he's awesome. He takes such good care of his mother. She lives next door. He does gardening and all of that stuff and cooking, and he's the most, he's just so personable and fun. His, his page is called Wise Guide, and he was talking about cleaning copper, which I got the bright idea of cleaning my Revere Wear bottoms because you guys... Um, remember I was just showing you and you're like, oh, I can't believe you have Revere wear. And I'm like, I, I like my Revere wear, but I realized how dirty the bottom was. And so this guy told me to get, you love him? Oh, Susan, I know, I do too. So anyway, he said to use Barkeeper's Friend on the copper, and I did. I did it on a video here. You can probably find it in my, if you go to Tammy Loves Vintage on YouTube, Wise Guide, G-U-I-D-E. He's like guiding you to be wise. <laughs> and I know his dog's name is Kip. Kip is adorable, little, I think he's a pug, and he ha he got sick, and he couldn't walk or anything, and this guy has really taken care of Kip to where Kip's now good, he's walking, and he's so good. It's been about a year, uh, but anyway, he's a fun, he's a fun follow, just to, you know, he's not a crafter, um, but he gets into a little decorating, a little cooking, but uh, anyway, I really like him. He gave me this idea, so I'm cleaning because when I get back from California, my other daughter, Summer, is going to be coming in with her uh, dogs and her boyfriend. And the bathtub, the guest bathtub upstairs, always for years kind of had a drip. And <clears throat> and around the drain part, it gets that like a turquoise color. I've seen it. I've seen it in other people's homes. And and I just thought we were going to have to put in a new tub. Like, I've tried to clean. I've done soft scrub and Comet and bleach and, you know, all of the things. I barely had my paper towel wet, sprinkled a little bit on this, and went down just to try it. I'm telling you, it wiped off like it was mayonnaise. Like, it was insane. This stuff, I'm telling you. So then... Okay, this is kind of, it, I mean, that happens to all of us. So, so my main floor, the main bathroom, the toilet is not, like I keep thinking we need a new one. We had hard water and I kind of went at it with a pumice stone to clean it. And um, so it kind of has like dark, like marks in the back where the water comes out just from forever. But the other ones don't. We have four bathrooms. And that's, that's the only one that's just not, awesome, you know, perfect, <laughs> even when I clean it, it doesn't look clean, oh, it's embarrassing, okay, why am I telling you this, I must be on a, <laughs> I'm on a roll tonight, look out, so anyway, um, when that bathtub upstairs came so clean, I thought, well, hell, I'm gonna give this a try, and I did, and it cleaned it, I have been such a sucker, I have bought more crap from TikTok, and um, where else? Like those pop-up things for cleaning that and nothing ever worked. 
I'm telling you what, I put this on the toilet brush and I kept scrubbing it, kind of let it sit. And I'm telling you, it's sparkling white. Like I can't wait for Randy to come home and see it. We don't need a new toilet at all. Barkeeper's friend, baby. That's the way to go. <laughs> so uh, it's good on breast. Well, that's great to know. Everybody know that. So there you go. It's a, it's it's <laughs> that's just one friend to another, friends. I'm just telling you, I found something good, and I got to tell my friends about it, right? So okay, let's get this frame knocked out. I still have to. Um, I fly out tomorrow, and I still have to run the sweeper and make a bed. I did. I did. Uh, I washed the linens. Is on the beds. I got one left um, to make up and I did quit after I was in my group earlier and I got out of there and I did have some frozen pizza. <laughs> it's so healthy, right? That's why I look like I look. Oh, I'm going to get out there with Abby and she's going to set me straight. Oh, it's going to be, yeah, she's going to set me straight for sure. So, okay. So, so in all of these frames that I have back here, anybody that's new that might have jumped on, I, I have my uh, muslin shreds that I tea stained. And oh, I guess I do have a piece of lace on, where's my finger? <laughs> on that one, it was a big, um, it was just a big long piece of lace and it had these pom poms hanging on the bottom. And so I made a bow out of it and put it on that one. Um, but I thought I would incorporate some, a little bit of softness in here. So uh, the name of the cleaner is called Barkeeper's Friend. Um, it's in a gold, a gold can. It's Barkeeper's Friend. I know it's backwards, but it's B-A-R-K-E-E-P-E-R-S-F-R-I-E-N-D. And I'm telling you, if you have any thing anywhere, I mean, the Revere Wear Copper, it just wipes off like, like nothing. Like, like it's, it's not even an effort. You literally could lay your towel on there and pull it and it would clean it. It's crazy. So yes, barkeeper's friend. Um, so, okay. So I, I'm sorry. I know that has nothing to do with nothing, but you know, when, when your girlfriend gets something good, she tells you that's what we're doing here. So I'm going to try and find a piece. I, I kind of already cheated a little bit and I know, I think I know what I want to do. I have to keep in mind that this is going to be vertical. So it's going to hang and I'm not crazy for that one. And I'm not crazy for like the strips. I don't, I don't, heck, I don't know. I might change my mind there. I don't know that I mind that. Let me put you up here so you guys can kind of see. You guys can see what I'm see. Yeah, I know. I almost don't mind that. Uh, I didn't, yeah, that wasn't in. And then you know, I've had this chunky one. I don't know why. I love, but that's not good. Nah. And this, yeah. Nah. 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 No. 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 Okay. I was looking at this one, kind of. Also, I kind of don't mind that. You know, what's kind of spurt, sparked this? What kind of sparked this is one of you guys messaged me because um, we posted about some doilies. I have a lot of doilies on my website, little sets of doilies. Uh, I think there's like five of them in a set for, I think they're like $25. Oh, that's really pretty. Actually, that's really pretty. Um, and I like this one. I love this one, but I was going to have to cut it up. Um, but I love the, see that ruffle on that? Dang, that's good. That's good. I don't, that's too long. Okay, so let's just make a decision here. We need to just keep moving. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of not minding that. I like the little points. So, okay, here's how I'm going to cover up. It's out of the way. Okay, here we go. Back down. <laughs> Back down. Okay. I've been cleaning and working all day, so I look awful. I'm sorry. I usually don't. Try not to come on looking so bad. But... Oh, well. And then, if you guys caught, I was telling you about. Oh, I hope that's right side. Is that right side? No. Oh, I think it's backwards. Hey, yes, it's backwards. Oh, my mom would be checking me on that. Her and grandma would make doilies, and I'd put them on my tables, and they'd come over and be like, that's backward. That's upside down. That's upside down. <laughs> okay, I flipped it. Don't tell mom. All right, let me see. I'm going to leave a little bit of hang over there. And I might. Okay, I'm going to 
gonna leave it like that for now. I may just let it hang. I got glue strings. I may let it hang, but I may also tack it over just a little bit, okay? Um, and I'm not, you guys, I'm not gonna do your comments right now because I, um, I wanna get this done since I have some other things to do yet. So um, I'll, I will go back and answer. I know I told you that this morning and I, I have not stopped to do that. Um, I was in my group earlier. I didn't do comments in there. I'm not a very good comment girl today, but um, just know that I will answer you even if it's, um, even if it's like in a couple of days or whatever. Just know that it's kind of a crazy, crazy time right now for me. So, okay. So I, I all I'm gonna do, I have, I have my tub of greens. These are just loose leaves. When I'm sick of a wreath or, you know, make an arrangement for somebody and I have scraps, just scrap pieces, okay? We're gonna make a beautiful wreath, mostly scrap. Now this, this is not a scrap and this isn't scrap, but I, but I may not even use those. But I want to um, build something pretty here. So we'll see what, we'll see what we get. And since the frame was damaged, I'm gonna go ahead, I went ahead and glued where that was. So I've already ruined the doily, right? Because I glued it. So, because honestly, if you don't want to, all you have to do is wire it on. You take your, um, your wire, this is a really good wire. Uh, I like to use this, it's called binding. Um, let me see what's it called, binding wire. And it really is just like a, it's a it's a covered so it doesn't hurt your fingers and it's like that and it's called binding wire I can give you a link for it if you want but I like to use that when I'm not going to glue to the frame but since the frame was already damaged I'm okay with gluing it and um, the doily well I probably I guess I could have should have wired it but it's okay um, if you glue it it ain't moving it's gonna stay right where I want it so, okay, I have this little piece of greenery. I always like this stuff. It's kind of wintry maybe, but I like how dense it is. And I'm, I'm literally, I'm just, I'm just gluing it. Don't cringe. I know, I know. If I didn't show this video and I just showed you it, the project afterwards, you'd be like, oh, I like that. Oh, I want to get this. Do I want to get this in there? It's kind of big. Let's see, maybe I shove it back in. Um, you would, eh, I'm going to do it. You would never know that I, that I glued it. So we're just going to glue it and be done. We're just gluing it tonight. Okay. Oh, I do like this too. I do like this piece. I just have a piece of a fern and I do like that a lot. So I think I'm going to run that down, like kind of down. So let's see here. I want to go longer than I want it. Oh, that's going to get lost up in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. More glue. Something about it with it gluing it to the fabric like that. I don't have to worry about it coming off. Okay. Then I'm just, I'm literally, oh, I really liked this little, um, I like the dark leaf of this too. So let's get that. But, but that, I got to cover that. Mm, 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 mm. And I'm not going to cover it with that. I don't want a whole bunch, you guys. I don't want a whole bunch. I just want to look. Ooh, that's good. Can you see? Can you guys see? Get you in here where you can really see. There. Get you in here where you can really see. Okay. So I have this. So I'm going for textures. Okay. I'm going for textures. So we're going to get this in here like that. Oh, I can't wait to get out to see Abby. I'm excited for all of you that have never met her before. I'm excited for you guys to meet her. She is a very busy bee out there. She um, is doing great and we're all very proud of her. Um, hmm. Do I wanna do that there or, again, I, I'm gonna, I've got, Gotta keep it kind of low. Oh, that's low. I like that. I'm gonna do it right there. Okay. I'm just laying these pieces around. Now listen, if you um if you are at Hobby Lobby or at your house or whatever, take your greens 
and just start making a little a little bundle. That's kind of what I did earlier to get sort of an idea of what I wanted. That's why I'm working out of this pile over here. Um, I might take some of these off of this one. Um, and so you're just making your little arrangement, you know, and you can shape it however you want. Um, you know, don't be afraid to bend your greenery. And then, the, then there. So see, you've got this nice little thing going. I might add, let me get the tag off of here. I get the air fern with the Hobby Lobby. Um, I might add a little air fern in there. Okay, so then you would just literally wire this. Wire this little thing, just wrap, 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 and wire it, or use a ribbon and tie it, or whatever you got. Use what you got. Glue it in a wad. However, if you want to do the the official, you know, flower arranger person, florist, a florist, if you want to be a florist, you can put it into foam and all of that. Um, but literally... And then you just do your, like I use my seam, I always use seam binding. If you're new, you'll learn about seam binding. Um, but like your seam binding bow, of course that's way too big. Oh, that's horrible. But you get the idea, okay? So that's basically how I kind of picked what I wanted to use. Now I'm getting, like getting real serious. What do I really, really want to use? So, all right, let's do the seam binding. Seam binding is, I can give you a link for it. It is a vintage ribbon. Um, that uh, was seam binding, and it, it would, I don't know, use it in sewing. Oh, there, I got a nice piece. I must have just cut a bunch of strips. Anyway, it comes flat. It comes flat. I got glue on my fingernails, but it comes flat. It looks like that. Thin. I love to get it wet. I love to add tea bags and stain it. See, can you, oh, I might be too close. Can you see like the, the, let me get it straight here. Um, the tea stain makes it look dirty and even more vintage. I'm not sure you can tell. There you can tell, see, like that. So I love that you don't have to do it. If you just have, listen, if you have a brand new doily, you can buy them at Hobby Lobby and you got a brand new ribbon from the, from the section. You, you don't have to have all of this stuff used or, or vintage or whatever. Um, it's just my thing. You don't have to tea stain it. Like if you're like, oh, I, that's dirty. Like my mom wouldn't like it dirty. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's always saying, I don't know, you know, it looks nice, but no, I wouldn't put that in my house. <laughs> oh, funny. It's funny how we're so different. But anyway, you don't have, so I'm just saying, just because you might not love old stuff or whatever, we still can be friends. You can still <laughs> make things like I do. Um, you just do a newer version of it. That's all. I'm just going to inspire you. And you take the idea and run, right? Do it your way. But you don't need an old frame. You don't need an old ribbon. <laughs> you don't need an old doily. You don't need scrap pieces of greenery. You can go buy greenery. Um, okay, so I just tied a bow. You guys get the idea. I just tied a bow. I'm going to snip the tails of this bow. Uh oh, just the tails, not the bow part. Okay, <laughs> I think I snipped a piece of bow. Oh well, you'll never be able to tell. Okay, and then I think I'm just going to add this little boinky bow right in here. Like that. Just to give it a little, I'll show you. I'll show you. And I'm just going to glue it on since I'm gluing. Um, if I were holding it in my hand and wiring it all down and all of that, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't glue. I would wrap it around the wires and get it all in there good. Okay. Now to this uh, beautiful <laughs> creation. <laughs> I do love it. I'm kidding. Um, let me, let's look at it. Let's look at it where we can see because it's, you know, we want to see what we got here. Oh, yeah. See? See? It's pretty. Oh, I wish I would have made my tails a little longer, but that's okay. It's good. It's still good. Um, yeah, I wish I would have left my tails a little longer. Maybe I can stretch them down. <laughs> All right. I need something here in the middle. And boy, I don't have a thing. I have this. No. Um, okay. So I have a couple of things to work in here. I have a button garland. You guys remember why I made button garlands, right? So I have the button garland. 
Um, I took it off of that old paint bucket with the gold tag on my fireplace. Yes, a cameo would be pretty. I uh, I just took everything upstairs from my group. We finished a project in there, and yeah, so no, I don't have anything. Anyway, I snitched this off of another project, off of another um, display on my mantle, but it didn't need it. I got so much stuff on that mantle. It didn't need it. Okay, wait a minute, I'm backwards. So I thought maybe I would work my little button darling in on this. Oh, for Pete's sake. I think it's too long. Let's see, maybe I can, uh, oh, how about this? How about I give it a little weavy bobby thing and yeah, like, oops. <laughs> Like that. How about that? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are like, what is wrong with her? I promise it's gonna be cute. Let's hang on. I need another hand, that's what I need. Okay, there we go. Now I lost my leaf. Where did that leaf go? Oh, there it is, but it's kind of lost. Okay, well, we'll worry about that in a minute. Okay. So there, so there. Now, oh yeah, cute, right? Really cute. Okay, so what I, what my eye is seeing is this dark up here, and I feel like I need another little piece over here, and I need another little piece. It's so much easier to do it up like it's gonna be. Let me see if I can hang it from my chair. <laughs> Let me see. We can, yeah, we can kind of do it on my chair. Okay, so. <clears throat> All right, I can't see because I'm not. Yeah, you can. You guys can see. Okay, at worst, worst, you'll have to screenshot it and, um, you know, screenshot it and zoom in. I'll show you here, though, when I'm done. Okay, if I have a little twisty there, yeah. Okay, all right, so up and around and down. Mm, I'm just a little bit more. I need a little bit more here. Okay. All right, and hang that button garland down. I liked what it was doing earlier. Why did I undo it? See, I'll never get it back like it was. It was so good. And those two. Oh, that just slid. Okay, there. Nope, I don't like it. Oh, if I'm gonna do that, I need to shut it back over here again. No, I really liked it how it was, but I can't get it to do that. <laughs> no, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. Oh, there. Okay, that's good. You guys can't see, but here, let me show you. There. See? Cute. All right, so then I wanted to do a couple more things that I'm seeing. My eye is telling me something's not quite finished, so I'm going to take a piece of this. Uh, let's see, I'll work from the bottom up. And I feel like I need another little sliver of something right there. See without? <laughs> see without? That was two pieces. <laughs> okay, all right, that was two pieces. Okay, so let's fix that first. So we put that in there. I'm gonna shove this in here. And remember, I don't want it to come up too high because I have stuff up above. Maybe I'm just going to leave that right like that. Just the one is good. Actually, I think that is good. No, that's too much. Okay. And then I have one more of these. And I'm wondering if I need to kind of do that. Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not sure. Let's see here. I'm not sure. I feel like it's too much, but I feel like I need something right there. And this, oh, here, maybe another little piece of this ivy. Yeah, just a little piece of it, okay. Hang on, I got it, I got it. Don't panic, nobody panic, I got it. We're going in, I don't know if I can find a place to stick it. Well, there's a place, but I better, I, I better get some glue on the stem here. And then we're going to stick it. Okay, hang on. Go, baby, go. Okay. There. Yeah. Okay. Ta-da. Done. All right. So, see? It's cute. I wish I had my... Oh, I wish I had tails. Oh, 
Here, how about I just untie a couple of loopies that aren't glued down? There, that's better. Okay, now I have one more little thing that I really wanted to get in here. Here it is. So, you know my optometrist lenses and you know I'm crazy for those. Um, they're on the website. I have a handful of them done and ready for you guys. Uh, and I still have some of the jewelry ones if you want to wear them, but this is a, um, this is a optometrist lens. It is, let's see, the strength is uh, always marked at the top of them. It's a 176 strength. This is from Barnesville, Ohio, uh, from 1958. And it's old journal entries. Um, there you can see her an old letter. It could be, I might have, oh no, this is actually on the postcard. This is on the postcard. Um, yeah, because it's got the postmark. Yeah, so someone has written on the, on the postcard. It says um, something about something, uh, something about the home, nice, um, her, uh, something nice and home, hope you come down. It says that's all I can read. So, anyway, uh, so these are old optometrist lenses. I'm excited to be able to offer them, and I'm going to rather than I can sometimes I can get that to fish through. Let's see, I have a I still have my stick here from earlier. Let me see. I'm not going to take a lot of time because if I just have to tie it around the neck part, I will. But boy, if I can get them, I've gotten a few of them fished through. Oh, my point's not pointy enough. I've used it too many times. Let me see here. I, got, I have a normal piece of wire. No, I don't. Hang on. My knife's not. No, my knife's too fat too. I'm telling you that slit is skinny. I, I have put jump rings on them before, like a jewelry ring, to attach them. I don't think I can get it. Oh, here's a. Here's a regular piece of wire, it's a little chubby one. Oh, here's one, here's one, here's a skinny one. Okay, baby, be my friend, help me out. Help a girl out, are you gonna poke through? Come on, I really want you. I really want you in there. Oh well, if I can't, I can't. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wait forever. I got beds to make, I have one bed, I have one bed left. No, forget it. Okay, all right, so we're not gonna deal with it. So, um, okay, so plan B is to wrap it around the neck. Ah, you can't even see. I'm sorry, wrap it around the neck of this. So I'm gonna be a little generous with the, with the seam binding so I can have plenty. Uh, okay, and then, whoops, I'm just gonna whack it off. And then let's go back up here. We're gonna tie it in so that you see, and if it flips, I need to take it off my inventory. This one's number F, don't buy F, okay? Because I'm, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> so give me a minute to get on there and get it off. But this would, look at this, I love this because it's got the bifocal, or the, um, the uh, not bifocal, see the line right there? That is, um, oh, there's two of them, but I'm not sure you can see them both. Let me move it around here. But that is stigmatism, there, see it? And so there's a stigmatism glass, so it's, it goes down both like a race stripe, and that's in there. I love that about this one. They don't all have that. But yeah, and they're under glass. On one side, there's glass. Okay, so let's see if we can't get this worked in here. I kind of want it to hang over there, though. I should have, nah, should have got it in before I did all this. Okay, forget that. Let's, let's just see if we can't tie it onto a loop here. I think that'll be fine. Okay. I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to tie it this way. I'm just going to, can you see? You can kind of see. You can't see great, but you can kind of see. And, uh, uh, okay. And then what length do I want? I love the adding these things in. They're so, it's vintage and it's unique. And it's a conversation, and I, I love it. Okay, so we'll add just that little, we'll leave that little. Yeah, there you go. Oh my gosh, I love it. So here, here's what we have. And see, you can just see it just, it's there. It's just minding its own business. It's happy. 
Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you where I'm going to put it. Where are you? There you are. Okay, I'm going to show you where I'm going to put it. Um, uh, and I, don't, I don't have a hanger on the back of it yet. And I'm not sure my nail is going to come. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, I need to get a hanger. But there you go. So let me, let me take you off of here. And I'll show, let me flip you around here and I'll show you really quick. Really quick. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, it's a little crookedy. <laughs> it's a little crookedish, but there you go. That is where it's going to go. Now I thought about adding just a tiny bit down here, but I don't know. I don't want to get too much, but I really love it. And there is my little optometrist lens. There is my vintage, um, uh, button garland. You guys check out YouTube. If you want to look up any of these videos, um, where we've talked about optometrist lens on my YouTube page, Tammy Loves Vintage, um, or the button garland, but I have button garlands all over the place, and um, I love them. I've got them pushed together, and I have them separated like this, um, but yeah, so there you go. There is, you think I need greenery on the bottom? I think it's okay. I kind of need to maybe move it over and down just a bit you know, more like here and here, but I had something else hanging there and that's where I needed it to be. So I might adjust it a little bit, but anyway, there you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So, all right. Yay. Yay. I'm so glad I have that. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm a mess. Oh, I'm sorry to come on looking so bad. You're not supposed to look at me. You're supposed to look at the project anyway. You like it? Um, Thank you. Thank you guys. No more. Okay, Stephanie, I'm not adding any more. Thank you. <laughs> so, all right, I got to go make a bed up and I got to go run the sweeper and finish packing. So you guys have a great night. Thank you for watching. And when I get back, um, it's going to be a little chaotic. I hate to have new people and give you a bad impression and not be doing a lot, but just know that I have a lot of family stuff happening here in the next two to three weeks. So, um, I promise I will keep coming, and if you want to see more of me, um, either scroll through my feed or feel free to look me up on YouTube and scroll that way. I always think that's easier, <laughs> so um, that's why I send you over there. But anyway, I'll be seeing you all. Thank you for watching. It was fun hanging out with you. I appreciate you all, and I promise I'll look at your comments and I'll answer what I can. I got what do I got? A couple hours at the airport tomorrow. I'll I'll get with you. So I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye.